All right, guys. Just going on a short burst. There's my Riker, the Night Riker. Awesome Riker right there. And here's my brother-in-law's Yamaha MT10. Now this bike is a beast. If you don't know anything about this bike, man, this thing, when it was launched a couple of years ago, it took it took all the naked, the world of nakeds by storm. So you know, I was like, you know what? I uh, my brother-in-law kind of feels it feels very odd to him to ride the Riker. So I said, you know, why don't you give it a shot, man? Ride the Riker and uh, let me get back on two wheels again. You know, it's been almost what? Uh, I sold my BMW back in August. So uh, not August, sorry, April. So we've got uh, right before April. So April, May, June, July. So it's almost been three months or a little over three months. I haven't been on a uh, on a two wheel yet. So this should be interesting. I'm kind of looking forward to this. All right, back on two wheels again. Man, I we had some really nice riding little riding footage but uh a stupid hero 7 black was uh it was frozen for some reason i don't know why it's doing that quite a lot these days i don't know if it's got a s little software update or something but man coming back to this I'm back on two wheels i gotta tell you folks it is so much fun coming back on two wheels i'm not saying that uh I'm tired of the three wheels already but the joy I'm feeling right now of uh, riding on two wheels is probably the same joy I will feel as soon as I get back on my Riker but my brother-in-law is giving it a shot right now right there uh, he rode it once uh, in the neighborhood and was a little scared well you know I mean it, it was not scared but he wasn't it was an odd feeling to him because he wasn't used to it and he felt that the suspension was a little too so soft and when, while he was making these sharp left right turns uh, he thought the bike would flip over and I was like ah that's not the case but since then I've put a sway bar on obviously and uh, and now I've been told that uh, even by him I've been told that it, it feels a lot sharper than what he remembers riding it the first time so now this is actually his first time riding on the road so I'm really uh, interested to get his reaction but my reaction back on two wheels oh my god this is so much fun guys this is so much fun um, if you are new to riding motorcycles this Yamaha MT10 should never be your first bike I'm just saying that I want to make sure I say that <laughs> so I don't want somebody brand new a license go out and buy an MT10 that that's a uh, that, that's calling for trouble I'll tell you right now this beast is a hooligans bike this beast is so powerful I mean when it came out a couple of years ago man this thing was all over the you know the the motorcycle news motorcycle world and uh, this thing is a different beast do not buy the MT10 if you're new to motorcycle riding please gradually go up to it but coming back on uh, Oh man, this two wheel feels so good. This sucker is fast. I forgot how fast this was. I remember when uh, when my brother-in-law first purchased the bike, I was the one who rode it home <laughs> for him. So uh, he was also a little intimidated by it, just a little bit. But I, as soon as he rode it first time, he was got behind the handlebars. He was like, ah, this is nothing. But, uh, but yeah, no, that's because we've been riding for a little while, so yeah it's been what a little over three months now since i was on two wheels this is a lot of fun you know it just it's kind of like uh, riding a bicycle you know you can never forget riding a bicycle so it's just like riding a bicycle you can never forget it's uh oh <laughs> I guess he was testing out the brakes. I had no idea. Uh, look at that. This is what two wheels is all about. Leaning down. 
taking these corners it's just a little bit extra effort you have to put in on uh, three wheels because the bike doesn't lean you have to lean so you feel those forces just a little bit more and if you ride two wheels and three wheels you know what I'm talking about if you've never ridden two wheels before that's pretty much it. if you ride two wheels you'll know what I'm talking about Ah, this is so much fun this is just a short video we just wanted to get out real quick uh, wanted him to ride the motorcycle and I wanted to uh, I wanted to ride the two wheels again. Here we go! <laughs> oh yeah, buddy! That's what it's about! <laughs> oh yeah! This thing is all about speed! Oh buddy! Woo! Leaning through the corners! Oh man, I almost got, uh, I was afraid I might forget how to ride two wheels again, but yeah, nah, silly me. Oh, this was fun. It was just a short little ride. Like I said, it didn't record the, uh, the way to the gas station. So we just recorded the half, halfway back home. But man, this was fun. This was a lot of fun. Well, this was just a short, real quick, short video. I just wanted to get on the two wheels real quick and see how I felt. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the one thing I noticed that is whenever you're on two wheels, you have to, you have to be careful immediately of uh, debris on the road that's something that you get alert on real quick you know it's like hey is there debris on the road because as you're making a turn you don't wanna you don't want your wheel to be in the path of that debris otherwise the bike will slide off from under you so that's something uh, I guess you have to be careful of and that's immediately how how I felt the moment I got on two wheels is hey let me scan let me look and scan for for uh, for debris on the road, but no, it's uh, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, baby, it's good to ride on the two wheels again. And I'll tell you one thing: I'm gonna have the exact same amount of joy getting back on my bike. Look at that, boys! Look at that LED headlights up there. I don't know if you can see this or not clearly but man those suckers are bright all right anyway all right man so tell me what you thought what you think i know the first time you rode it was in the neighborhood you were feeling a little weird it was a little too soft what do you think the sway bar did that make it a little sharper it definitely made it sharper and i need one week with, the, with your bike and uh, i promise you i'll be doing stunts <laughs> What do you think? Did you have fun in it? I know this is your first time on the road with the bike. Did you have fun? It's a lot of fun. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's very different to, to use for sure. Yeah. It gets uh, a little bit of getting used to, but... But you think you can get used to it if you're riding it for a day? It's not that difficult, right? All you have to do is just remember to lean. Even though the bike doesn't lean, you have to lean with the bike, right? Uh, so. It's just a couple of days to get used to it, but it's, it's, a, it's a much... I don't know, much safer alternative to two wheels, that's for sure. Uh, it's got a lot of fun factor attached to it. That's cool, man. That's cool. So, guys, there you go. This is coming from a, a non-riker owner riding the uh, motorcycle for the first time on the road. And uh, he had a lot of fun. And just remember, do that test drive, man. If you're wondering if you want a Riker or not, do the test drive. You'll know within that first five minutes if you like it or not. But anyway, guys, do appreciate it. Thanks for joining in. Please hit the like button, hit subscribe. And until next time, be safe.